Have you ever heard anyone say, don't talk to me about being saved anymore? Well, I have. I had somebody say that to me. And you know, God heard that. And in that book about you, that's in heaven, I'm sure when God heard that, he wrote in that book of yours, not interested in being saved. You know, when we stand before God, the question will be, what have you done with my son? Did you say, I don't want to hear about it anymore? Here's the record. Here's your book. There's where you said, I don't want to hear about Jesus anymore. Will you stop this Jesus talk? It's on record. It's on record. The only reason people say that, they don't want to be saved, is because they don't realize the condition they're in. Would a man drowning say to a man trying to save him, Will you stop this trying to save me stuff? I'm all right. And then he goes down for the third time and that's it. What a fool he would be. Don't talk to me about being saved anymore. How sad. How s terribly sad. And yet we find that through the Bible. Jesus said, you will not come to me that you might have life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. But the world doesn't want to hear about it. Don't talk to me about being saved. I don't want to hear about it anymore. You know, there's a scripture in Acts 7, verses 54 to 60. And Stephen was preaching about Jesus. And the people he was preaching to, they didn't want to hear about it anymore. They not only said, don't talk to me about being saved. They said, we're going to put an end to this. See, men love darkness rather than light because their deeds are evil. And they won't come to the light that they might have life. And here's these verses, Acts 7, 54 to 60. When they heard these things, starting in verse 54, when they heard these things that Stephen was preaching about Jesus, they were cut to the heart. They were convicted. Just like the word of God convicts you. I don't want to hear about it anymore. Get away from me. That's the spirit of God convicting you. And they gnashed on him with their teeth. But he, being full of the Holy Ghost, looked up steadfastly into heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing on the right hand of God and said, Behold, I see the heavens opened and the Son of Man standing on the right hand of God. And they cried out with a loud voice and stopped their ears and ran on him with one accord. They stopped their ears. We don't want to hear about it anymore. We don't want to hear about being saved. We don't want to hear about Jesus anymore. And verse 58, And they cast him out of the city and stoned him. And the witnesses lay down their clothes at a young man's feet, whose name was Saul. And they stoned Stephen, calling upon God and saying, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. And he kneeled down and cried with a loud voice, Lord Lay not this sin to their charge. And when he had said this, he fell asleep. Yes, I don't want to hear this anymore. I don't want you to talk to me about being saved anymore. Well, God wrote that down in your book. You need to repent and realize how you really stand before God.
your righteousness are as filthy rags. And when you stand before God, he will say, depart from me. I never knew you. Thanks for watching.